Hello, Mountain Patriot Homestead family. Today, I want to touch on a topic that is a little bit different from what I normally talk about. It is definitely a more serious subject, but one that has definitely been on my heart for the last few days, and I just think that it bears saying especially this time of year, uh, any time of year, but definitely this time of year. And what I am talking about today is suicide awareness. Now, before you swipe away because you don't want to hear this, uh, please listen. And if you won't listen to everything, if you will just give it a thumbs up so the algorithm of YouTube will share this video, perhaps Perhaps it will help somebody out there that really needs to hear this. And it doesn't have to be someone that is contemplating hurting themselves. It could be a family member, uh, a co-worker, even just an associate that might stop someone or might prevent something bad happening to some someone that they care about. Now... This time of year, I love this time of year. This is my favorite season. You know, I love the holidays. And uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of people that are affected quite opposite of that. And they dread this time of year for various reasons. It could be a loss uh, that still weighs heavy on their heart. It could be just a myriad of reasons and as I said it's not just this time of year all times of years people are hurting physically mentally uh, financially people are hurting and just there are so many different reasons that people will decide they just can't live with whatever they're going through and some the reason that this has weighed on my heart so heavily the last few days has been uh, Austin Police Department just lost a officer. She had been an officer there for many years, decorated officer, had won several prestigious awards for her service of duty, and a she has a family, children. And just, you would look at her, she's a beautiful woman, and you would look at her and just think, wow, she has everything. But on November the 11th, whatever was going on in her life came to a point that she just couldn't deal with it anymore, and she took her own life. Now, I don't know how many of you are aware of it. I know... Uh, there's the program that points out about uh, about military suicides, about the high rate of military suicides. But did you know that every that there are 54% higher rate of suicides for police officers than for the general population? And that was according to a study. I didn't just make up those numbers. That's according to a study done by Boston University and was put out this year in 2023. They said 54% increase of law enforcement officers over the general population uh, are, have contemplated suicide or suicidal. And that goes for all of the first responders, people that are subjected to a lot of things in their line of work. It could be a trauma nurse. It could be a victim of abuse. It could be someone that is suffering a serious illness and just can't deal with that. Um, my stepbrother, I say my stepbrother, it's not my stepbrother, my half-brother committed suicide uh, because he just could not deal with the pain, the physical pain anymore. Um, so it is not limited to a certain status financially. It is not related to what uh, rung of the ladder that you're on. No matter 
what walk of life from the lowest to the highest people are in danger of doing harm to themselves and it's up to the rest of us to make sure that we are paying attention that we are noticing things that are going on around us make yourself aware Ta just google it if nothing else uh, there are courses out there in suicide awareness you, again you may not be interested in this think this doesn't affect you but you never know when someone close to you may be contemplating something that you just can't imagine so please make yourself aware of warning signs and just pay attention to each other reach out to each other be kind it doesn't cost anything to be kind a lot of times we forget that i do and there you never know what uh, what one little kind word what a smile you never know how that can help pull a person out of a very dark place. So please, uh, I'm asking you, reach out to others. And if you are contemplating hurting yourself, please turn to someone that you trust. I'll have my email down in the description below if you need to reach out to me I'm I'm no anybody I'm not a psychologist psychiatrist counselor of any form but I'll listen so if you need to reach out to somebody and don't have anybody to reach out to you know just contact me I will do you know I will do what I can and I'll if if you want I can put you in contact with folks that can help you but if you have someone close to you and you need help please reach out you know you are needed in this world we need people that um, that feel deeply and uh, I love you and if you need anything please let me know Mountain Patriot Homestead, signing out.